Why did I kiss the holy book? Because I saw him do it as a child. I thought all books would be kissed. And I picked up a book of the alphabet and kissed it when I closed it. I was beaten. The Master Shah had dragged me out of the class. In those days, they didn't explain what beatings were for. You weren't beaten because you were guilty. You were guilty because you were beaten. And though my father read the holy book and kissed it, did he believe a word of it? I was taught, even by my father, that the word of God asks you to be merciful. <coughs> to be helpful to your fellow man. And while he was teaching me this, me sitting on his knee, he would instruct his mukaddam to find some poor peasant who lived on his land or to drive an impoverished family who couldn't pay his rent or interest out of their homes. So may God look mercifully on you, Zamindar. Well said, Dave. God will be merciful, even to the merciless. It's dirty clothes that need washing. And it's not as though you believed anything yourself. I wasn't cruel to anyone. I don't think. Not knowingly, no. But not loving someone who loves you is one of the world's greatest cruelties. And yet, the guilty one is innocent. But Paru, I was innocent. And how can you even imply that I didn't return your love? My heart was yours. But we lived here, where emotions are secrets and one can only express them in traditional ways. There were no ways for me to tell you, to hint. There were watchful eyes all round. There is something called defiance, you know? Rebellion? Love shouldn't be an obedient, dried up river. It should always be in flood, overflowing. Here's one for you. Ah, you would beat a girl, huh? Brave boy. <coughs> Baru, you can keep the mangoes, but please don't, don't tell anyone we had a fight. That you slap girls for not obeying you. I'm not your monkey. It was a, a mistake. Please don't tell anyone. I don't like girls, but I do like you. Hai go bundu bine pran bache na. Hai go bundu bine pran bache na. Na 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 go bundu bine pran bache na. Ami rabona rabona grihe rabona rabona grihe Bundu bine pran bache na Hore ache kulo bodhu Hate niya shara modhu Ki modhu khawai lo jani na Ago ki modhu khawai lo jani na Of course We all heard you were back from your Oxford University Ah, Cambridge please and I was hoping I would bump into you here. Me too. I thought village Mela, she'll be there. I'll pretend to hang around all day till you came. But look at you. I thought you would come back like an English gentleman with a jacket and pipe. <laughs> what happened? What happened is that the world moved on and Bangladesh didn't notice. You stopped replying to my letters. Dave, I... They wouldn't let me. I'm to be married after I finish medical school in Dhaka. Para! I should go. They'll say I was talking to strange men. They haven't stopped beating women. Strange? Me? Married? To whom? No. You were seen talking to some girl at the Mela. A childhood friend, Abba. You are not a child anymore. We have a reputation to keep up in this village. 
This was the musician's daughter? A low caste person? Low caste? I thought we were Muslims. We don't do caste. Dandi and Salan Bai. You know very well what I mean. Oh, I get it. It's your precious standing in the village. There's one solution. I leave the village. Enough! I didn't pay them to teach you insolence. Dad, you should have a stick and bang it. Like in the Hindi movies? Get out of my sight! Justin, we are individuals, free citizens. Fuck them. You really think you can ignore the world as it is? When I'm with you, the world as it was doesn't exist. <coughs> you say that now, but when you were abroad, did you think of me even once? Did I forget to breathe? And the English girl? Baru, when I can gaze at a star, I look down at the cabbages. <laughs> About you. And why? Because we grew up together and you became my definition of beauty and desire. Oh, they do teach you stuff at that Cambridge.
myself to you. I trust you. Your letters said you love me. You mustn't do this. Why mustn't we do what our hearts and bodies want? No. If this was a dream, I, I would with you. But there's a world just there. In fact, everywhere. I mustn't do this. You must get dressed and go back. Daughter Alpha hired. You think any son of mine could, even if he took her as a mistress, make her anything more than a law thieving, shameless creature? Dad, they are a respectable family of artists. If you want her for a wife, you'll have lost a mother. I would rather kill myself than be subject to the indignity of acknowledging such a shameless woman. We sent you to England to learn the ways of the world. And you come back with, with this? No doubt she dances for money. Praise God that she is already engaged to Mushtaq, that old fox from Dhaka. His second wife, her father must have sold her. <laughs> train to Dhaka, 8 o'clock. Meet me on the platform. We can go from there to India. Calcutta, Bombay, your family or mine won't know where we've gone. My studies. There are plenty of universities and medical colleges all around the world. Your father, he will... I want nothing from them, Peru. We'll make our own way. Steal mangoes and sell them.
leave that platform. Had something happened to you? Were you dead? I didn't think anything else could induce you to betray our tryst, my trust. I returned home and was told in the days that followed that you had gone to London that night. So you never intended what you pledged. I was heartbroken. And what faith can one have in the word of another or in this deception called love? I told my parents I would do my duty and marry Mushtaq. Routine becomes happiness. Duty and its fulfillment are all. But I still wonder why. Could it have been otherwise? Yes. Yes, my love. Yes, my beloved, it could, it could. I was no less heartbroken. tonight. You never saw me, okay? I not only saw you, I came to tell you the truth. Something I heard from the servants of that wicked woman you have been deceived by. What are you talking about? My master, your Paru, is pregnant. She was with the tabla player, the musician in her father's troupe who has run away without trace. And now she and her parents have trapped you into marriage and elopement to make you the father of her disgrace. What? I must. My tongue would turn to stone if I didn't tell you of this deception. I, I don't believe you. I will talk to her. I have been trusted to look after you from the cradle <coughs> and to hold you, and I cannot stop now. There are whispers in the village. Your family will be the laughing stock of the district if you fall for this cheap trick. Did she come shamelessly to you and try and seduce you first into making love to her? She? How do you know that? The ways of a woman, master. <laughs> she longs for her lover, the father of her child. But she needs you to save her from the shame and the abyss. night, even if you don't go to her. Now that you know the truth, if this is true, I'll... No. You won't confront her. You won't kill yourself off. You'll go tonight. The car will take you to Dhaka. 
Let's go back to London and forget her. 